Good afternoon, everybody. How's it? How are you doing? Yeah, so, uh, got a bit blindsided by that fresh new, uh, Nintendo Direct coming up. So I figured I would, um, cancel the, um, emote drawing stuff and throw something better in there. Today's opener was a classic on this channel. The song I intend to cover real soon, Miserable by Gact. Something I realized during the um, planning phase was that um, I can just record the song in chunks. I don't need to get it all perfect in one uh, sitting. Well, of course first sitting perfect uh, performance would have been great sometimes you just gotta settle for what you can get hang on let me get the PNG fell open and then I'll swap over to a uh, swap over to the desk setup Mawaru, mawaru, okizari ni sarete jikan no naka de watashi wa ima le miserable. I see Sita Nataga. I still can't believe I have the uh, first verse of that song like memorized perfect. Like, it feels unreal. It feels fake to me. I don't know how to explain it better. But, uh, yeah, let's get everything on the correct monitor. We'll uh, keep the desk up until it is time to uh, go to the gameplay scene so we can watch the uh, direct together. I started roughly 30 to 45 minutes early. Because I wanted a little time to speculate a little, you know? Since the Super Smash Brothers games are no longer receiving DLC, that's out the window. Uh, I hope... My biggest hope is that they talk about and real games. <laughs> but that's, you know, no-brainer. That's obviously gonna happen. What am I fucking stupid? But, uh... As for, like, specific games I kind of want to see... Honestly, I want another trailer for Monarch. I played the demo. I love the demo. I named my character Van Darkholm because I'm an artist. I'm a performance artist. And it's like, oh! You know, veterans of the channel might know we are big fans of Shin Megami Tensei if on this channel... Even, like, the bad part, you know the part, the world of sloth. <gasps> Hang on, they got the, uh, they got it live 30 minutes early. This is the waiting part of the game. Oh, please. Full screen the fucking video, what are you doing? Hang on, I think I have to uh, F11 to on full screen. For fuck's sake, please. Hang on, I'm working on it. But uh, yeah, as you may know, on this uh, channel, we are big boy fans of Shin Megami Tensei If. Even the bad part, you know the bad part, the world of sloth where you walk around for five hours and hope that you don't go fucking insane. Alright, so please. There we go. Now it's full screen. So I'll keep that open in the other tab on the other monitor. And when it's time... I'll uh, swap over, all right? Now, before that, let's lower the uh, 
graphics quality on this to 360p for minimal buffering. I want no buffer on this so we can get the most raw reactions out of me, all right? And, oh yeah, and since Monarch is being made by many of the people who worked on those t on that era of Megaten, alongside the guy who wrote the original Megami Tensei light novels. Okay, that's a fucking trip and a half to remember. But since they have, you know, basically Atlas's greatest hits on hand, I'm hyped as shit. I'm ready to go. I want to buy this game. But they're only letting me pre-order the Digital Deluxe. And I do not have the corporate funding for Digital Deluxe at this time. So we have to wait until the 22nd. And you know what? The game's kind of worth that wait. Like, ooh. 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 You know, just big boy, ooh, ooh, you know? Just fucking, ooh, ooh, ooh. Not to mention, of course, the, uh, the Dean character is, ooh, ooh, mama. You know, just, ooh, ooh, mama. But, like, you know, outside of the basic shit, the actual gameplay is actually really good. Like, it's an interesting, um, change up of the usual, you know, tactical stuff. Where it's, like, you know, halfway, halfway, like, you know, you walk around, you know, specific radius according to your character's movement stat. And then you do an attack. But I like that sort of interesting uh, way that you're forced to interact with the maps for the battles. And then Vanitas. Oh, Vanitas. I love that fucked up little fella. He's just a wacky little guy. He's a dickhead. I love him. He has every disease known to man. Uh, if you're wondering why the... um. Why there's no music. I, uh... Having two YouTube tabs open kills my computer, alright? Don't, don't fucking get pissy with me. Of course, I can't open up, uh, FUBAR. I can open up FUBAR and get some, uh, music from my hard drive. Got a couple songs on there. Got some music on my hard drive. We have... 25 minutes left. Alright, so add folder. Let's go with the uh, Jojo Eyes Over Heaven. Yeah, Jojo Eyes of Heaven soundtrack. Select that folder, baby. Woo! Uh, yeah, let's... Bump the sound volume down on that. Now, it's taking a while to add the music to FUBAR. Don't worry. It's just processing the files. It's just processing the files. I could put on the um, Delta Rune soundtrack, but I don't, I don't want, I don't want Toby Fox giving me a, giving me a finger in the ass because I played some of his music on my stream, okay? All right, so let's start. Where's Weather Report? Weather Report's got a nice theme. Yeah, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Let's turn that down a bit for my sake. Man, it's so unfortunate that this game turned out to suck. Like, uh, you ever try playing Eyes of Heaven multiplayer? It's so laggy. I hate it. 
Oh, I hate it. Like, right, imagine you're playing an arena fighter. There's four players, but it's peer to peer. There's no dedicated servers. So if you're playing from someone from like fucking Venezuela, woo! Enjoy your chess. This is, of course, uh, also taking into account that the game is just not very fun. However, while we're on the top of topic of JoJo, I kind of hope they put. I kind of hope they put All Star Battle on the Switch, or at least port it to something other than the PS3. Oh, that'd be great. Or even better, a new proper fighting game for the series. Like they just wrapped up part five. Woo! Get Arxis on that. Actually, no, don't get Arxis. Get Capcom. Capcom does JoJo fighting, right? I also kind of hope they uh, reveal a Chainsaw Man fighting game. It's really unlikely, but I hope they do. It would be... I love that series. I want it to uh, get like the I want to beat the shit out of each other type content that people want. Sorry, I'm just uh, adjusting my mic stand. There we go. Ah. Other than that, I've been all right today. Just taking care of minor stuff before work. Probably gonna take care of some minor stuff after work. The uh, emote drawing stream that was for today will be uh, rescheduled for next week, alongside with the initially planned Among Us stream. Now, later on tonight, as per usual, the manager will post an email address so that you can submit content for his uh, Saturday talk segment. Now, it's not required. Totally, I understand. Sometimes you just don't want to send some stranger an email. But it would mean a lot to me if you did. Of course, keep an eye on the... Uh, fucking... Keep an eye on the... Twitter page for that. I just noticed it's hard to see me on the desk outline. Let me just get another suck upon in there. Yeah, just uh, copy. Paste reference. Here we go. All right, yeah, let's get this big boy right in here. All right, just uh, Luma wipe. Whomp. There we go. That's perfect. That's great. That's good. Oh, I'm a genius. So, most likely, most likely, right, we're probably going see some new smaller games that people might forget about we're going to potentially potentially see a uh, Splatoon 3 type deal and people are gonna get mad they're gonna get um, they're either gonna get mad or they're gonna get annoyed and that's all right I don't want to hear this one right now Ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, the Avdal theme is jamming. But uh, people are going to get mad. They're going to get pissy. They're going to say, Why didn't you show fucking Breath of the Wild 2? <laughs> Where's Bayonetta 3? You know, that type of shit. However, since... Uh, I'm kind of not hyped for Bayonetta 3. Especially after the uh, developers revealed... They're not too keen on uh, continuing to produce tightly 
you know, tightly made, well, per well designed games. They want to make games that you waste a lot of time on, and I feel that doesn't bode well for them. Especially since they're kind of known for making Devil May Cry character action game type stuff. Like, dude, are you high? Like, I understand wanting to change up a bit, but Hideki Kamiya, Hideki Kamiya, you beautiful, beautiful, bald son of a bitch. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard from you. Hideki Kamiya, please fucking ha come up with a better decision. Ah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having like a big boy gamer nose moment. Uh, oh yeah. It's unlikely, but I think we're gonna get a Mario game. I think Nintendo can't keep their hands off their funny little plumber man. They want us to gargle that Italian sausage. They're gonna show us a new Mario game, or at least a remaster of an older Mario game. And it's probably gonna come out good. I expect no explanation as to why they canceled the uh, Dual Princesses. That's that game's softcore pornography. I'm not surprised they canceled it. Now what would surprise me, right? is a proper North American release for that Common Rider Memory of Heroes game. You know, the one with uh, double O's and zero one? Or even better, right? A, a proper North American release of Climax Scramble. It's been a few years, it's not as relevant, but since Toei is making a move to bring Kamen Rider into the West in a more accessible, enjoyable manner. I would not put it past them to release a bit of an older game by now just to gauge interest. And you know what? If they did that, I would buy it. I would get out Papa's credit card. I'd say... Nintendo man, give me the Kamen Rider game. And then I'd play it. Because I enjoy the series, uh, the manager enjoys the series, and it would be fun to just finally get that game. I don't even care that they don't have Amazon in it. They at least have Kiva. I fully expect, uh... I fully expect at least something from Square Enix because they can't keep their finger out of anything. Uh, whether it's something good or something bad, totally irrelevant. It's just going to be Square Enix. You know Square Enix. They're hit and miss. I only hope that it's not more of that awful bad looking HT, HD 2D style um Dragon Quest re 3 remake if only because I find that style garish and uncomfortable sorry I was just uh, turning down the um music real quick it was getting a little too loud in my headphones now ideally right Ideally, like the crackhead dream, like wish I have here is new Demi Kids title. Come on, baby Atlas, give us new Demi Kids. New Demi Kids, yeah, yeah, Demi Kids, yeah, the best game, Demi Kids. 
God, I have to play that game for you all sometime. That's a hoot and a holler and a half. Like, imagine, right? Shin Megami Tensei. But for kids. Wackiest idea I've ever seen. Uh, I'm honestly kind of interested to see what uh, some cute little indie dev has to present to us. Because they always have a couple of those up in these, stream in these uh, directs. Let's see how we're doing. Looks like 20 more minutes until the uh, main event starts. That's nice. I hope you all have been hyping responsibly. I sure haven't, but that's all right. Oh shit, I accidentally closed chat. Let me get that open again. My bad, bros. I am sorry. That poor decision has left me flabbergasted. That's a nice word. That's a fun word, even. Flabbergasted. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of nice little words, a word I recently have, like, done a little digging on is the word entergaging. Because the manager described my content as entergaging. And I was confused. Then I looked it up. And it was it's a word invented by the Garfield Eats guy. As a combination of entertaining and engaging. What the fuck? Like, I knew about Garfield Eats. But simply the word, entergaging. Entergaging. What the fuck? Oh. I'm going to have to start using that one. Like, it's just awful enough to perfectly fit the brand I have going here. Oh yeah, additionally, um, by the end of the month, this month, the groundwork for getting my uh, setup upgraded should be in place. By or near the end of this month, I should have be close to... Uh, what I need to increase production quality here. And that's exciting. Ten minutes left, by the way. Because, uh... At that point, I will be able to debut again. Well, at the point where my hardware gets upgraded, I mean... And the idea that I can come back to having a proper model after being forced to scale back due to hardware limitations is inspiring, frankly. Because I honestly never expected to have to un-debut. And then the idea that I can undebut then come back after suffering like an amount of shame is you know uplifting at to say the least now of course before we before we get into the main event I just want to take a little time you know, just a second, a full eight minutes even, to say I am thankful for those of you who show up, who come in, who watch this stuff, who 
especially those of you who chat and give me something to respond to. I want to thank all of you, and I want to say I'm thankful for the fact that just the just yesterday we hit 45 followers on here. That's 45 people over the course of my career who've decided that they like me enough to follow, even if they don't really show up, even if they keep notifications off, that's fine. The fact that they supported me in any way means a lot to me. It's something that, you know, signals to me that I'm doing something that people might enjoy and that I have been worthwhile to someone. Of course, getting 50 followers won't exactly guarantee an affiliate status, but when we get there, I'll be able to move my better TTV emotes over to being on actually Twitch, and that's exciting. And then there's, um, you know, the possibility of, you know, eventually, you know, potentially getting people to pay for my content, even if I ask them not to. And that's also exciting. Just generally the idea that people can come here and get exactly what they ask for means a lot to me. And of course, it's not about the money for me. I just want to have fun. I want to be a funny little streamer guy for you guys. And even if my uh, stuff like takes a turn you don't like and you stop coming around, that's fine. Now, kind of stop being a little sappy, perhaps even a little gay. Why is it buffering? We have just a few minutes to go. We're on the eve of the big event. So I'm going to Luma Wipe over there. Okay, I'm going to kill the music. I'm going to kill the music. And we're going to wait these last couple minutes together quietly. All right. There's about heh, five minutes left. So I'm going to fade to black. We're going to go over there. It's going to be a-okay. All right. All right, give me a second. All right, that that was mean. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have given you the uh, big boy skeleton jump scare. It's just a funny... It's just funny to me, alright? Now let's... Uh, bump that down. I keep accidentally closing and reopening the... Um, chat box. And you know, that's on me. I, sh I should really remember not to close it. The skeleton appears. Now, I know there are a lot of times where I've said I've wanted to react to one of these uh, events live on stream and that I simply do not show up or I show up late to it and that's on me. But I'm glad that I was able to uh, get up on time, go live on time, and have plenty of time to shoot the shit before we could start. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Ah. Oh yeah, apparently that uh, new Pokemon game is really good. I will have to give it a try on my own before I make a definitive de uh, decision. Because as you know, I am the sole arbiter of truth. Yeah, that that's a decent meme right there. Sole arbiter of truth, my ass. Chat, let it be known that I would gaslight you given the opportunity. Not even like about anything serious. I would just lie to you on purpose. If given the chance, I would. And it would be funny. <laughs> it's why I go in when raiding and I say, sing the raid song, sing the raid song. There is no raid song. I lied to you. Now it should start momentarily. We have one minute left. So I'm going to lower the sound a bunch. Going to get chat up. Going to get this focused. No, no, stop resizing it, dickhead. Oh, well, I can, uh, well, at least now I can womp slightly larger now. You're welcome. All right. All right, so Nin Tambo, Nin Tambo, Nin Tambo. Uh, oh, oh, we're behind a little. Had to click that little live button. Oh, oh, oh. It's starting. Here we go. Oh boy! All right, it begins, it begins. Fire Emblem? Fire Emblem Warriors, three hopes. Ah! Finally, a good three houses game. I will not allow it to perish with you. destroy the irrational power structure that shackles Fodland. You ever think about how only people who like work for the federal government like Edelgard? This is the path we must walk. I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real ones. Claude, please. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? We shall fight, we shall survive, and we shall win! Man, I hope the next real Fire Emblem game they make is actually a good game, and not just dog shit, like Three Houses was. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. Like, I cannot describe how disappointed I was by Three Houses gameplay. And this is coming from someone who is played like a considerable amount of the games like uh you must. the gba games the uh 3ds games the, that type of stuff hello everyone i'm shinya takahashi and i'll be your guide for today's nintendo direct oh boy you can't see it but i just bowed back to him the trailer for the fire emblem warriors three hopes game 
I'm kind of hyped for we Three Hopes. Look forward to a it looks fun. Set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's see the first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Headline time. Headline time. The Orange Star Nation needs you. Advance Wars! We've got Woo! more intel on the Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reap Boot Camp game. In the first campaign, Advance Wars, you'll advise oh, man. a colorful cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Each commanding officer is now voiced. Bringing even more Famicom Wars, but good. You're gonna get hurt. I see right through your plans. Another full campaign awaits in Advance Wars 2: Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities. Oh man! Like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. In both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. I, I want to get this. I want to get this. It looks fun. Outside of both campaigns, it looks muscles. so good. Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom maps in the design room. Or battle friends. Finally, I can make penis town. Online multiplayer. Oh, 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 multiplayer. <laughs> Wars One Plus Two Reboot Camp. Marches oh. onto the Nintendo Switch system April 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. All right, guys, I'm going to become an Advance Wars streamer. Explore I'm just joking. Infinite universe. I'll definitely play the games, though. At least on In stream. In No Man's Sky, every star is the light of a distant sun. You know, I appreciate how they Each managed to make this game good after releasing dog shit. Travel to planets of your like, they put their entire pussy into it. Universe. Here, I admire that dedication. Extraordinary lands and creatures that have never been seen before. Like I'm not gonna never play the game again. At least not on stream. It's, it's not you my jam, you know. Tools and even your own place to live. But I respect the hustle. I In respect the work they put into making universe. the game good again. Trade convoys travel between stars. Factions vibe not to mention, territory. there are several low fells in this game. It's great. Travelers. And the authorities I've seen are gameplay. It, it looks Your fun. May be fraught with danger. Not like the kind of Actions fun I'd have, bosses. but you know, Traitor. the kind of fun I'd enjoy Fire. having. Explorer. How will you live in this universe? Well, he was in like a big boy gamer mech. No Man's Sky lands on Nintendo Switch this summer. This summer, huh? All right. Oh. <laughs> Mario Strikers! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I knew they'd fucking put a Mario game on here, but what? What the fuck? That has to be a fucking illegal play. You can't use your hands in soccer! Oh my god! This is a better Mario reveal than I could have anticipated. Mario Strikers Battle League. Prepare yes. For strike. Yes. Five on five sport yes. Like soccer that's way heavy on offense. Aim for goals by dribbling and passing to teammates, as well as by using tackles, items, and crushing special shots. That's bullshit. She's not even kicking the ball. The main rule in this sport is to rule the field. Try to score more Soccer with no opponent. limits. <laughs> there are two things to keep in mind that'll help you with your strategies. First, the gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but also your stats like speed. Hang on, I need to I need to make accuracy. some of the shareholders alert Customize to this. As you see fit. Second, is the confirmed. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field. Doink right, right in there. While your opponents are distracted. Right in there. It's spoiled. It's spoiled. But I've in let the, the shareholders know that one, there, that there's a new fucking soccer with no limits. Up to eight players, four players oh, on each team. Eight players. Each other on one Nintendo Switch system. Holy shit! In addition to individual matches, holy shit! Play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up this is based as fuck. 
So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. This is based as fuck. Try to become the I'm so fucking glad. With items. Tackles. And hyper strikes. Anything goes on this field. Holy Mario shit. Strikers. Battle League launches on Nintendo I'm like, Switch. June 10th. I'm genuinely flabbergasted. I wasn't expecting this. E when are they going to give us a new Golden Sun, though? The latest iteration of the Mario Strikers series is coming to Nintendo Switch. We hope you're excited for this Anything Goes Battle Soccer game. I like this guy's smile. It's contagious. Oh. Metal Gear. No, I'm just joshing. They can't fucking give us a Metal Gear game. I knew it! Splatoon 3! Or is this, like, more DLC for two? This mode's, like, the only fun I can get from the game nowadays, anyway, uh, honestly. What the fuck? Fish stick. What the fuck? This is like vaguely penisy, and I can't explain why. You know, vaguely penisy describes the fucking music style of the entire Splatoon series. Like, it's got like. A lot of the same flavor as the residents, you know that uh, group. Like it's like cyber penis music. I'm so glad they appear to be making the best mode even better. Great! Oh, that's phenomenal! Holy shit, it's a big fella! It's a big fella! Oh my god! Guys, they just took Splatoon 3 from good to great. That was the trailer for the co-op mode in the Splatoon 3 game. Oh. The next wave of Salmon Run. A giant salmon head, one that's never been seen before. He's like a big fella. Spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octolings ink? Chad, they put your mother in the game. <laughs> oh, that's great. More Nintendo Switch headlines. That's phenomenal. I'm so glad. At the ready. Wanzer. Wanzer, that's familiar vaguely. Armored core? A full remake of the first front mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. Front mission! In this tactical Woo! RPG, you'll pilot weaponized machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. Nothing but gold Gain so the far. Upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy Nothing but gold! This is great! Mix and match various weapons and parts to customize your Vanzer. Like the only one I could have vaguely been a little bit unhappy Uncover about is that new Fire Emblem game. Classic, and even then, it's like, dude, I'm a jack-off. What do I matter? Nintendo Switch this summer. And in the future, the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will Front Mission 2 as well? Switch. Oh, sheesh. For a high-octane Disney and Pixar combat racer. Where's Sora? 
From the creators of Put the Sora Aztec in this series game. comes rip-roaring racing action across Disney and Pixar-inspired racetracks. I'm glad there's Race like a resurgence of kart racers. On high -speed circuits. Fucking Jack! One special <laughs> Fucking to Captain for Jack Sparrow! The finish line. Are you joking? Mouse for some fun there he is! Speed. There's Michael Mouse! For monstrous power. Or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Perfect for turning the tables at the last second. Where's Disney Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, you fucking hacks? With new seasons added regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters. Oh, it's seasons. Circuits, carts, Ugh. and more. Will at least Plus, be free to play? Platform play as well as split screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. This summer, huh? Oh, Game Loft? Probably free-to-play garbage. Dive It'll be fun, though. Franchises on Nintendo Switch. Classic, you say? Unleash the power of the Force in this classic Star Wars action-adventure. As oh. Darth Vader's secret apprentice. The Wii version of this game's Force fucking phenomenal. I can only imagine that with the Joy-Cons, you'd be able to do the wacky, uh... Like, motion controls like even better. Force then combine them for even oh, more oh, destructive oh, combos. Oh, 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 Or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original Wii version. Yeah, motion controls! The they said it! Motion controls! They're back, the baby! Woo! Powerful Jedi. <laughs> Star Wars The Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo Holy Wii Holy shit! The complete saga of legendary Ask assassin Creed, nice. Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically Like, I'm less assassin's hyped, but Creed it's games. still pretty decent Explore games. Renaissance They're not bad. And 16th century Constantinople. Interact with historical figures. Here I come, Constantinople. Here I come, Constantinople. Here I come, Constantinople. Here I come. Take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, and optimized on-screen display. Touchscreen controls? Resident Sleeper! Pilot mobile suits in dynamic action RPG Woo! battles. Strange incidents called breaks are occurring- Big Zam! There he is! I saw him, Big Zam! ...causing them and restore the proper timeline. You'll lead yeah! mobile suits in battle. Woo! Enhance each suit with parts to improve their power. You can also battle alongside friends and I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. Gundam if Alliance they let you play as Big Zam, I'll get it. Year. Hell, I'd settle for uh, for Two just large Haro. Triumphant return of this RPG classic. A remaster of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Okay, I'll admit I haven't played Chrono Cross, okay? One fateful day. The protagonist Serge here, here. wanders into an alternate here, here. world. Here, get this. Though it get somewhat this. resembles his home world, he finds that he no longer exists. I will play Chrono Cross. What is this mysterious another world? After we Travel finish Final Fantasy One, I'll story. finish Final Fantasy Over One before the end of the month. That's a promise. Depending on the choices you make, next month, to accompany you whether I like it or not, we're different. playing Chrono Cross. Got it? A number of improvements have been made to this remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Oh, sweet. They have but pussy mode. Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Experience the origins of Chrono Cross in this text-based adventure. Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition. But like, yeah, I'll get, I'll play Chrono Cross Nintendo Switch April 7th. on stream. Pre-orders begin today. It'll be fun. Nintendo It'll be a hoot, a holler, maybe a gas as well. Oh, little fella! There he is! 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 I love Kirby so much. Wow, guys, this is just like Squeak Squad. Are, are they bringing back... Are they bringing back the beast ability? <laughs> He's a car! It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It all takes place in a mysterious Bro, this is just like Nier Automata, oh, bro. 
To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Introducing mouthful mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. This is just like cars. <laughs> a vending machine to attack with juice cans. Oh, this is this is or great. Become a piercing cone. Whoa. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. Enjoy exploring with new moves different from copy. Oh, this is adorable. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. Bro, it's just like Kirby rescues Waddle <laughs> Bro, it's just like Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I'm so sorry for people who don't and like it when I peek the mic. Shot. I assure you, some of these have not been on purpose. Others have been fully on purpose. That last one was on purpose. Evolve oh, you can upgrade abilities? Expand Kirby's range of attacks. Oh. They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. Dude, this is just like... Kirby 64? Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? I really hope they bring Kirby back the animal the ability from uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. It would be very thematically fitting, I feel. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. That was Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Launching later oh, this is great. Please look forward to its release. I'm glad I made time for Let's this. Let's take a look at some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Nintendo Direct or Grand Minasan, Konicha, Bata no Tani Shohedes, Pitcher no Tani Shohedes, Nintendo Switch Jode, Konka Hajimete, and maybe the Shoni Junika, as many of them in the Masha. Fredo, Sura Granta. That's guys, I'm not happy. MLB the show is coming to Nintendo Switch. That means you can play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty guys. on your Nintendo Switch. But that's you guys, not all. Get this gay smile off my face. With a single joy guys, controller. with cross progression, you can also I'm no longer happy. Content on any platform where MLB The Show 22 uh, I, is available. If I had Take one right now, I would like cross the Nintendo arms like one of those YouTube ranch sonas. To play MLB The Show 22 online matches on other consoles. No I'm not happy. Worry. You can invite them and play These online. sports games suck. And for therefore the lowest common denominator. I knew you were a true oh, a little fella. Player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. Look at this guy. Look at him. This is a little guy. A little fucked up guy. You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. Three Kingdom Hearts collections are almost here. From Kingdom Hearts to Kingdom Hearts 3 Chat. and the Remind DLC. I already have most of these games on PS3. No, not PS3, PS4. I do not need them in a worse form on Switch. Because they're cloud streaming these to the Switch. They've been proven to not play well. You should not be hyped for the cloud gaming experience. Because the cloud gaming experience is remarkably worse... Each collection's cloud version in will also every be way on compared shop. to the uh, just buy buying the game. <laughs> there he is! There he is! Oh my god! Oh my god! There he is! While firing wind bullets to grab and Here comes the boy! Here comes the boy! I love him! To your advantage. Chat. Also. Klonoa 2 is included. Holy shit, it's Klonoa! There <laughs> adventures when oh, Klonoa oh, Fantasy Red oh, Ring Series oh. Nintendo Switch July 8th. <laughs> We're so glad you're here. Come here often. Either way, oh, I was hoping it would be the orange box too. 
and these are well it's still a great games, game the portal gun is your key to surviving imprisonment in a mysterious lab like honestly portals and warp to portal to is what I describe as a game you give to non-gamers you can pass through portals if you want to introduce shoes, someone to the idea of 3d game do not give them Mario 64 the sequel adds in give local, them portal online, and split screen multiplayer modes or minecraft no but lie. i suggest Neither portal is more so monitoring your every move because portal, portal warps onto nintendo switch teaches year. you how to handle 3d space digitally a classic comes alive uh oh nanda Holy shit! What? <laughs> They're fucking giving me everything I ever could have wanted. Nintendo's sucking me dry. What the fuck? Previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG live What the fuck? Overseas debut. Now in What the fuck? Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. Like I hate the HD 2D look. Prehistory. But for some reason, it looks good for this one. The Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty. For some reason, HD 2D just works. China, a Kung Fu for searches for a worthy successor. Live alive. Japan, a and I'm going to have to play the original for you guys sometime. I don't know when. The strongest there ever was. But I promise, the near future, it's going to happen. With psychic powers, takes a stand against evil. Because future, this game's a masterpiece. Is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? This game's a masterpiece. Repay my loyalty in death. <laughs> Live Alive launches on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. I'm, I'm so fucking happy. On Nintendo eShop. How was that? Next up is this. Like, holy shit. It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Switch Sports. Please take a look. They don't have boxing. in the Nintendo Switch Sports game. But they have golf! You might recognize these three from No, I don't think they have golf, but they have sword fighting. Tennis. Tennis. Rally by gently like they have the -Con controller at some the of the side. classics, they unfortunately don't have boxing. Roll the ball straight ahead but they have the what matters most, and I'm glad. Tumbara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. Why the fuck aren't they using me? Where's Matt? The Where's Matt? Where's Matt? Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. This looks like dog shit, Enjoy but I won't play it if it's dog shit. To shoot and perform diving headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, Doink. you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Well, that's kind of neat. Badminton. <laughs> Fucking badminton. Right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. <laughs> shuttlecock. 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 Oh, oh my head. Oh my head. The game supports local play with family and friends on Shuttle one cock. system, as well as online play across oh all Oh my sports. god, I need a second. I need a second. Oh. Play against friends online or uh, breathe. random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Oh, they have skill-based matchmaking. That's challenge. actually kind of nice. How was that? Since I'm already here, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports. I need to go in after this and just Mr. clip Takashi. me losing oh. my shit about Shuttlecock. Hello there, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Oh, it's that wow, guy. Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right. I'll play oh my god. Online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. 
I've got plenty of space around me as well. Nice. He's following a general motion right, controlled gaming uh, including some live commentary throughout our match. guidelines. That that's nice. <clears throat> All right. Oh, we're doing this. Uh, volleyball. <laughs> a a shuttle cock. In Nintendo Switch Sports. What can we expect today from the shuttle cock gaming? <laughs> It's Koizumi oh, you can import me. That's you excellent. Front. I'm so happy. We begin with Koizumi they better have a mat equivalent, How will the opposing or I'm react? going to lose my shit. Takahashi makes the block. <laughs> Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. A setup in the air, and here comes the oh. spike. The oh. other team saves it and fights back. Gotta say, I'm so happy they excluded golf. Didn't quite get it in time. Golf. All right, well, it's okay. While it was great for Wii, I feel like it wouldn't really fit for Switch. Koizumi receives it. Takahashi sets it up, and Koizumi spikes, but it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. Now's their chance. They get the ball. Like um. And with a setup from Koizumi, Takahashi scores. They can't exactly. They got a point. Do the same stuff they always do, you know. But I'm glad Ooh, they included the games they did. I After all, we look forward to all the non-soccer new sports. Right, I'll be leaving now. Especially shuttlecock gaming badminton. That was an introduction to Nintendo Switch Sports. The game launches April 29th. Whoa! We're planning a free update. That's my birth month. That allows you to play soccer matches That's... with a Joy-Con controller and the latest strap accessories. <laughs> That's 11 days after my birthday. Shootout mode at launch. Addition, Thank you for the present, Nintendo. We're also planning a second free update this fall that lets you enjoy golf. Woo! <laughs> golf needs that extra dev time, bro. <laughs> advanced foreskins. Advanced foreskin mechanics for golf. Let's go, boys. Play test before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. We definitely like to ask for your help with this. When I get, if I get a capture card, I'm doing badminton. I'm doing badminton. Oh, oh, oh! Please visit the. I'll be able to test. For more details. Chomper is in the test, bros. Woo! That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Get those Taiko drumming skills ready. <laughs> yes, yes. The latest Taiko no Tatsujin game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for Taiko drums. I'm You'll strive to become a Taiko fucking hype. Along with brand new character Kumokyun. I'm so excited! Dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania, Gorengate, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And that's not Megalovania! All. Yes! The yes! The main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's 76 songs total. Plus, take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times as you'd like. New modes have also been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. I have, I have the special drum controller for Taikono's Tatsujin just because I love the game so much. I'm so fucking glad there's a new one coming out. I'm going to fucking cry. What the fuck? gives you access to over 500 songs will be available at launch. I don't usually like subs, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to. What's new with these Nintendo Switch games? Well, is this updates? The brand new tactical RPG game. Oh, Trial it's Strategy updates on uh, already the announced stuff. Sarah Noah and his allies will be engulfed in the conflict among. But three when's the new Final Your Fantasy Tactics coming out? Will determine their fate. As Lord of like I'll admit, this looks I a little like it, but it's not Final Fantasy Tactics. Bound, I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. This better have some a church bad shit in it, or like bootleg berserk stuff, like um, later today. tactics did. Or I'm gonna be disappointed. Can be transferred to the full game once purchased. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC Cuphead. I still need to finish the main course. game for this, Here, but it's such a great game that I don't mind. 
defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities. Oh, look at these wacky attacks. fellas. I'm the clever I'm glad. Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Take down fearsome foes with Boy, a double what a nice new uh, female character that has completely innocuous um, proportions. I sure hope the internet hasn't made porn of her. A free update is coming Woo! to the Metroid Dread game. I still need to pick this one up. All it takes is one hit. Even from this. Are you kidding? Even once causes a game over in the brutal Dread Mode difficulty. Can you face this new challenge? <laughs> Cock and ball torture mode. Here we go. Players new to the series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added rookie mode difficulty. Pussy mode. This free update launches later today. Demo will also be updated. A second free update in April will add a boss rush mode in which you'll battle bosses continuously one at a time. All right, that's pretty nice. I think more games need a mode like that. It's fun. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. You have to be fucking my ass. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah! Yeah, baby! I fucking love this game! Oh man! Classic! Classic! Like, it's a dog shit game, but it's classic, you know? And I mean dog shit affectionately. It's not perfect. I accept that. In fact, it is very bad at times. But you just love it because it's just that weird, you know? Holy shit! The first one too? Oh, they're spoiling me. Oh. Mother 3 will never be localized. <laughs> it sucks, but you gotta accept it. Mother 3 will never be localized. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online. Oh my later god. Today? today? Oh. Oh. Here we go, rapid fire. That yeah, zombie army four. Need to try that. I haven't played the game. I should try it before uh, passing judgment, you know. Get to Fuma Den, they made another one? Later today? <laughs> Oh. Mid as fuck. If you like Demon Slayer, get better taste. Fuck you. Uh, oh, it's a Lego uh, Smash clone? Or is it like a Lego beat em up? I need to do more research before I pass judgment. Oh, sick. I always like the uh, Sim Hospital style stuff or whatever the fuck it's called. Theme Hospital, that's the kind of stuff I like. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. Are they finally releasing? So, on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series. They're finally adding DLC after they promised it on release. They're finally adding it. Holy shit. <coughs> oh, fuck. I love this. I love this song so much. I've played uh, Super Circuit Wii 8 Deluxe, though I don't own that one. DLC courses will be coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> this is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. You may recognize some courses from past Mario Kart games. Eight 
courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2023. Yeah, I'm gonna let some courses of the shareholders know about Coconut this. Mall. Can't fucking believe it. Coconut Mall. Chaco Mountain. And Tokyo Blur will be included in the first wave. <laughs> Oh, course, from tour? You can play these courses locally and online. Once again, I'd like to apologize for all the instances of me peeking the mic. I just... Oh, I'm fucking lightheaded, bros. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. One of the shareholders just asked me, did they uh, say anything about a new console? How no, they didn't. I hope you're looking forward to the additional they, courses in Mario Why Kart would they? Deluxe. The Switch is only halfway this done. will be our last announcement. Oh, last announcement. Here we go. Here we go. Fighting in order to live. British! <laughs> and living to fight. The... That's the way of our world. Xenoblade Chronicles? Ionios. Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. Yeah, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. You are, you're not enemies now. Is this three or X? Time you've got. You could try, try to move forward again. How can our lives be so snapping little, do you? They're not your friends anymore. Could be a DLC for two, but I don't want to reinstall two. Two sucks as a game. Pierced by great. It's peak fiction, but it sucks as a game, you know. I do not like playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2, enemy. it's boring. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you solve it all alone. What good filling up these flickering crops in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. So when Xenosaga HD, huh? Uroboros abhor this world. They must be erased without strength. Wanna... Chad, I don't want to say it. <laughs> I'm trying not to say it. I'm fighting myself not to say it. Like, yeah, fuck. Nice. It's real, holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Chronicles and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and it will launch this September. Hang on, hang on, I have to I see. I hope you look forward to it. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Yeah, people are losing their Thank shit about that. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was fucking insane. I don't know what I'm most excited for. Shit. All right, let's find someone to goon up. Let's find someone to goon up. Oh, man. Once again, sorry for all the mic peeking. Followers 44. I lost one. That's amazing. I need to go fucking sit down. Well, I'm already sitting, but you know what it is. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's goon up Warlock. Wanna be underscore... Warlock, there we go. Ape Sex Legends, here we go. 
probably playing with a pal of his. will be fine. I want to thank you all for coming today. That was fun. That was great. Let's face Luma wipe back to the loader. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, I think. Goodbye.